Charlie, how your angels get down like that? Girl, I didn't know you could get down like that. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a Charlie's Angels inspired look and I'm going to be doing Drew Barrymore's makeup because it just was the easiest to see. She was had a lot of on-screen time and I mean it helps a bit that my hair color is the exact same as hers. Well not the exact same but very close to hers in this movie. Like I watched this movie not too long ago with my boyfriend and I was just like I need to do a look since we have like the same hair color pretty much. It's always great when I don't have to wear wigs or props, so that helped a lot. This look is super simple and easy as every Y2K look pretty much is, the more natural ones. So I was very interested in doing this look and a lot of you guys loved my Drew Barrymore look that I did before, so that's why I'm doing another one. And this is kind of like a three-in-one or four-in-one because I do three different makeup looks that are super, super easy that will all take you probably under 10 minutes and also I do my hair so yeah I'm just setting my face as always I just use a normal foundation and concealer how many of you guys like Charlie's Angels like I felt like it was such an iconic movie and then I I mean it was it really was but like watching it is just so cheesy like and the graphics are really bad but I mean that's the 2000s for you like I mean I wouldn't have had it any other way so as you can see here, I have sparse eyebrows, so by filling them in, they match my hair color just a little bit, and I'm not doing them too much, because you know, back in the early 2000s, it was all about thin brows, but her eyebrows are a little bit fuller. And I'm also going to take a little bit of the translucent powder and place it under my eye for fallout. This is super, super simple. I'm just taking any white shimmering eyeshadow and patting this on my lid. U using the padding motions like you see here makes it more natural and more accurate to the early 2000s makeup looks. By getting too technical with brushes and making it super neat is not as authentic. So what we're doing is just taking a brush here and I'm going to take a black matte eyeshadow brush and just gently like line my upper lash line and make the tiniest wing and pat it really near the lash line. Like this isn't really to give you an eyeliner effect, it's more to make your lashes a little fuller without putting too much mascara because that's what I noticed throughout the movie. She, oh, she rocked this look throughout the movie more than any of the other eyeshadow looks so that's why I did this one first and that's why this one is my main focus and also it's super easy to to achieve it doesn't really take amazing makeup skills or anything it's a very simple look but comment down below which um, angel is your favorite for sure Drew Barrymore was mine obviously I just loved her red hair so I'm a little biased <laughs> Then with a little bit of mascara, I'm just going to put the smallest amount on my eyes. I don't want this to be the focus. I want my natural eyes to be more of the focus. So I'm not putting too much, just, you know, to get rid of that fallout. I don't want fallout on my lashes. It looks bad. So I am just kind of combing through and not giving myself too much volume. Now I'm taking the Kajal Beauty blush in the color called Koi and placing a little on my cheeks. I didn't notice too much facial makeup on her. The Her makeup was very dewy and kind of soft and oily. So that's why I'm, I know oily is a bad term. That's why I use dewy. But I feel like dewy is a very like modern term. I don't know. I'm just dumb. But anyways, I'm just spreading this blush around and any type of cream blush is always going to be more natural than a powder. So that is how the blush looks very natural. I'm just taking this gold dust stick right here and just giving myself that dewy skin appearance that I want. And by doing this, it makes your skin look naturally shiny and like luster. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but that is what I'm doing, putting some on my chin. A lot of the time she was sweaty, but I mean, we're gonna rock that look, kind of like a sweaty sheen type of look on your face. 
and you can see a lot of my natural skin poking through so yeah now time for the red she wore this staple really fire truck red lip throughout the movie and i feel like that's what made this look so i'm using the color cherry by mac you can use any fire truck red you own i prefer this lip color i use it all the time I don't really have many red lip products because I don't like the red lipstick on me. So I have very limited amount of red lip products, but you use what you want, any type of cruelty makeup look if you want. I understand that MAC isn't for everybody, but I like these lipsticks. Then I'm taking Russian Red, and this is just kind of as a base because we are gonna go in with Lady Danger, which is a fire truck bright red, but I wanted to make it go over a little bit because it is such a bright red. It's a little too intense, but see how it just gives you that Drew Barrymore, Charlie's Angels type of look. Now for the hair. My hair is already the color, so we're pretty much done, but as you can see, I have very simple waves. What was super popular in the early 2000s was half straight hair, half curly. So I'm using my Foxy Bay straightener for this. Uh, Foxy Bay has amazing straighteners. I love the rounded plates. It's easy to twist and create very nice waves with this. I do have a coupon code if you guys are interested and it is Foxy Nicole. You can save yourself 60% off. And obviously I inserted that photo of Drew Barrymore. Her hair is a few strands are curled and then the rest are just all wavy so it's basically like if you like google early 2000s hairstyles of y2k you would see a lot of this and if you want to see more of a detailed hair tutorial where the hair is a little bit more straight because that was super popular like the whole head would be straight and just a few strands were curled let me know i wasn't a big fan of that hairstyle I remember when everyone in middle school would do it i just hated it i just thought it looked stupid i was like why not curl the whole head but it was a statement and now looking back and watching charlie's angels i'm like it's not so bad it's pretty cute so yeah so you're only taking a few strands on the top of your head and making them extra curlier than your already wavy hair now my hair is all in even red so it's kind of hard to see but obviously um you can tell that i'm doing that so and i love this straightener because it gives you really defined curls so i'm just teasing those i only curled like maybe five strands of hair and they're the more noticeable ones so i'm teasing those but if you guys want a straighter hairstyle with a very few curls like a hair tutorial let me know because i know you guys love my y2k videos i think more than my 90s ones so just let me know but that's basically look number one with the hair tutorial and the makeup she wore this makeup throughout most of the movie or similar makeup it's not identical but it's what i it's very hard to find screenshots from that movie and i'll tell you that i couldn't find any for this second look right here but throughout the movie you saw her wearing just blue eyeliner so basically just run the blue eyeliner over the black eyeshadow if you just wanted to wear this look twice this is super easy just take any navy blue eyeshadow and run it you don't even need to put the black eyeliner but i already had it on no sense in making a whole new tutorial for it like this eyeshadow is pretty pigmented and you can see right here the blue standing out and she wore this look throughout the movie a little bit too. So that's just a simple look if you weren't too crazy about just the super simple frosty look. That's not even a true frosty eye either. It's super natural. Then a few times throughout the movie, she was wearing like this aquamarine eyeshadow. So I just am taking this eyeshadow right here and with my finger just pressing it in, it gives you more of an authentic natural 90s look instead of it being too done up. I feel like that's a lot of the problem on YouTube is when people try to recreate these looks, they make it too modern and too perfect. And that's not what they did. So that is why we're using our fingers. And I do blend it out a little bit more. I just cut a little bit of those scenes out. But that's basically it for this look right here. It's super simple. I'm just touching up a little bit of the eyeliner. Um, a few of the clips got cut out so you don't see me doing the other eye, but I promise I did the other eye. But that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this Strawberry More inspired look and I'll see you in my next nostalgic video. Bye!